Alrighty, so this is an R6 rim. It's a 2004 R6 rim, and today I'm going to show you how now, to paint. This is by no means going to be a professional paint job. Um, I'm using a Rust-Oleum gloss protective enamel. All right. The reason I'm doing that, instead of spending you know $100 for a, a pint of paint or whatever it is, um, you know, the gloss enamel looks pretty good. For, for a rim. Uh, I wouldn't use it for the body, you know, the tank or the any of the fairings, anything like that. Um, but, you know, for a rattle can, the, the protective enamel, it, it looks really, really good. I've done handlebars and I've done um, handlebar levers and they they, help, they hold up very well. The enamel's very strong. It handles the, the sunlight very well. The wind, rain, uh, it doesn't run. It dries pretty quickly. Uh, it takes a little bit longer to cure. It takes about two or three days to fully cure. Uh, but once it's hard, it is incredibly hard to break, and it looks good. It's shiny. It's got a clear coat built into the um, the uh, chemical makeup, so you don't have to add a clear coat if you don't want to. Um, you can, you certainly can. Uh, it'll make it look a little bit better. Uh, and, and you know, it's it's simply easy to use. And you know, you really can't go wrong with Rust-Oleum. It's a nice, cheap alternative. Um, this room is beaten to hell. It's got cracks and chips all over it. I have done my best sanding it, you can see. Um, I've sanded it flat, so the previous uh, owners that painted it, they didn't bother to uh, sand it before they painted it. And that's how you tell. You got high spots and low spots in the paint. Um, and that's, that's why you sand it, is because this coat that I'm going to put on isn't going to have that problem. It's going to be a nice, thick, even coat all around. There's not going to be a, a high spot or, you know, a high spot or a low spot. Um, like there is on this one. So, without further ado, I'm going to show you how to paint. The key theme you're trying, I'm getting at here, you, you know, I'm trying to get to you, is you want to tape off the things you don't want painted. Uh, for instance, this is an aluminum dowel. I'm going to use that for something else later. So, I've uh, taped it off and put cloth over it. Anyway, without further ado, the way you paint these is very simple. After you've sanded and made sure it's nice and clean, you've gotten all the imperfections, any dirt, dust, debris, grime, anything like that is gone. You're just simply going to take the rattle can, you're going to hold, I think it's 8 to 10 inches away, it's pretty close, and you'll just go up and down, side to side, pretty much from every angle, but you're going to do what they call sweeping sprays, all right? So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, like that. Back and forth, back and forth. And basically the idea is you're going to coat everything evenly and smoothly. You don't want anything sticking up, anything like that. You know, you want it to be a nice, smooth pristine, glossy, even, undisturbed finished. That's going to be the best way to do it. I'll move around a little bit if you can. Shake often. And that's looking pretty good. So good. Um, done about two coats now. Everything looks nice and smooth. Um, so what we're going to do is for this particular paint, you you need to apply a coat within an hour. So every uh, every 30 minutes or so, I'm going to do another light coat until I think we're going to do two more of those. And then in about two or three hours, we're going to take the entire thing, move it on inside where the bugs and shit can't land on it. Excuse me, the bugs and things can't land on it. Um, and uh, you know, no floating debris, dust, stuff like that, is going to ruin the paint. Um, so, looking good so far. Let's keep at it. So here's the results. I just put the last clear coat on today, and it looks pretty good. It's not bad. It's nice and shiny. It's got a nice uniform coating all around it. I like that. That looks good. So. 
just to recap, I put a clear coat on and then I let it sit for about two to three days and then I put another clear coat on. Now between the initial enamel hardening and the first clear coat, I waited two days. That's, that's pretty important. I like that. It gives the, the enamel paint time to cure, time to fully dry. Um, and there's no chance that that stuff is going to you know, float to the surface or bring out a previous paint color or anything like that. Now with black, that's pretty hard to have happen anyway, but it's always better to be safe than sorry, especially when you go to the trouble of properly doing a paint job. Now this, this paint, what I'm going to do, and I'm not going to show this because this, this is up to you. You don't have to do this. This is a finished product right here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of buffing compound, like what you would do on the finish of an automobile, and just buff up that... Um, clear coat a little bit and it'll make it look real clear and real shiny. Um, if you ever have problems with a clear coat being uh, fuzzy or you know opaque instead of you know clear and crystal looking it's because you need to buff it. You need to either sand it with a really 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 high grit sandpaper or a, um, a buffing compound. Something that's gonna get it real real mirror finish smooth. Anyway that is how you paint a motorcycle rim. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good one.